Cook Islands police have put out a reminder that six dog breeds are banned in the country after people have applied to fly them in. American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Terrier, Pitbull Terrier, Bulldogs, Doberman and Rottweilers are all not allowed. The reminder from police follows six dog attacks in the last month. Police spokesperson Trevor Pitt told Caleb Fotheringham there's been an unusual high number of people trying to get dogs into the Cook Islands. A couple of these applications fell into the categories of prohibited crossbreeds, especially the um, Staffordshire Terrier. That was the main reason why I posted a an update on the requirements for importing a dog, along with some current statistical information about the complaints. I'm keen to get to the complaints, but before we do, can you tell me why the dog breeds have been banned? Well, this is a historical list that's been put together over the years. So we didn't just come up with a list like just now. And it was based on the um, the experience of having particular breeds like the Rottweiler especially. And we did have some on the island some years ago, back in the 80s. Over the years, certain breeds have been added to the list because of the concerns over their temperament. And... It's not just the temperament in terms of the family who are holding these animals as pets because quite often these animals have to interact with visitors, relatives, people who call around to the house and also other dogs that they might run into on on various occasions. At times, you know, things can get pretty nasty if, if that sort of instinct and temperament get in the way and takes over and suddenly there's a violent situation. So you mentioned before that there were some complaints recently. Could you please tell me what complaints there have been? Uh, Well, the the complaints are ongoing and they're just the uncontrolled dogs. There are a range of complaints from uh, dogs barking all night, dogs hanging around in packs by the side of the road, chasing motorcyclists and cyclists and also walkers. People who walk in the mornings and the evenings get harassed. We've had, I think, about seven so far this month, mostly attacking people. And people have had narrow escapes from being nipped on the legs as they've sort of walked past or driven past. So that's an ongoing issue for us and our dog control unit, which is um, busy on a daily basis attending to call-outs. How severe have these attacks been? People have been bitten, so, um, you know, bite marks that have broken the skin. And in terms of the dog control squad, well, what type of work do they do? Well, they attend to, to the complaints as on an ongoing basis. So yesterday they were out in Tijikavika trying to locate a pack of dogs that's been harassing people and livestock. And any dogs identified as unregistered are put down. How many dogs are registered versus unregistered? The problem in Rarotonga, is it just a bunch of stray dogs walking around or do most of them have homes? Well, it varies from village to village. Some areas are particularly bad for roaming packs. But we also have a problem with dogs up in the mountains too, wild dogs, who venture down during the day and night scavenging. And these dogs also cause a problem amongst the domestic population in terms of attacking pigs and goats, as well as looking for, you know, food scraps. So they're actually quite a danger as well.